Well, let's go ahead and open the artworks.csv file. In this particular case, I don't want to create a new item. I want to, in fact, use the Wikidata Sandbox 3 item. So I'm going to copy the QID from that here and go into my spreadsheet and paste that in the QID. I'm not going to enable changing the labels. I don't want to change the labels or the descriptions really because these are real items. But let's go ahead and add a new property. What do we want to say this is an instance of? How about a painting? Let's see what a painting is. Painting, visual artwork. Okay, cool. Let's copy that Q number. It is an instance of painting. Let's say that its height is three centimeters. I don't know what the units for centimeters are. Let's look that up. Centimeter. Copy that and paste it in the height unit column. Let's put in an inception date of 2021. And let's give it a title. How about my little pony? We have a title and it's an instance of a painting and it is was made in 2021 and it is three centimeters tall. That sounds good. Let's go ahead and save that. And let's look at the existing Wikidata Sandbox 3 item. It doesn't have very many other properties. So let's go ahead and run this. We need to put Vanderbot, the program, in the same folder along with our data. So let's move it into the data folder. Okay, now I need to change to the data folder. Let's see if our files are there. Okay, here's Vanderbot. Here's the artwork CSV file and our CSV metadata JSON file. Let's hope it works. Python 3. Vanderbot.py. All right, great. It looks like it worked. Let's go ahead and refresh the page. And we see it is now an instance of painting. Inception 2021. Title My Little Pony in English. Height three centimeters. So the data that we wrote to the test item is there now.